and welcome to episode 47 of the Lincoln City Youth Squad Legends series. So as you know, we have a foothold in League One. Instead of going through the January games as normal, I decided to take a step back and concentrated on improving the potential of some of the players that we have in the team that deserve to stay in the squad for the entire series. However, none of this went to plan. It's a very interesting video what you're about to watch. Enjoy! This guy's contract is expiring in six months. Six months, but because he's 20 years old, no chance of signing him up. There is a lot of things savoury that are not improved by cheese. Balance is 89 to 99. Oh, we've actually got our first 99 start of the whole series here. And it's Zacharias Karoga who we signed up from Crew Alexandra, he's got 99 ball control. I can't recall ever having a Ukrainian. Is that even how you say a person from the Ukraine? Ukrainian? I've never had one on Youth Squad Legends. Alexander Strandberg. It's almost perfect. Shortlist is bigger than Rui Faria's future. This is true. I think I'm going to open the shortlist and it's going to break the game. Clinton, McConey, and Gongo. I want to shortlist him just because of that name. My name's David Sanjoro, mate. <laughs> Before we do anything right now, I'm gonna have to go back, just step back a bit and save the game up. If I lose this shortlist, I'm gonna cry. Firstly, looking at players that are not our own. Secondly, looking into the squad hub, checking the players without massive potential and deciding which one should be boosted. We're kind of good compared to every other League One side. So if we're gonna like, sit back, not really concentrate on the games, and more concentrate on the progression of these players, then now is probably that time. I need to make sure that I don't ruin the squad. But it'd be nice to bring in a, a fresh face or two. Who was in charge when the name of this guy had to happen? I was gonna say that I'm not signing people because of their nationality, but I found a person from Chad in the French League. If that guy's got decent weak foot and skill moves, we might be onto something. Why? On the edit player section, can you not change the hairstyle? Because firstly, it would eliminate the problem of the player face looking nothing like the guy. We could change the hairstyle to make him look kind of similar. And secondly, footballers are er erratic. You know they're gonna have different hairstyles. Look at Pogba, he has more hairstyles than assists. Six foot one Ghanaian striker showing great potential. I guess if we are gonna do a roundup on the best players in the save, I really should look at all the big, big leagues that could potentially bring back someone. This guy's a leader of men. Rocky Shoofs. Stick him in the shortlist. Lucas Lux. Sounds like a superhero. German Moosh. That's obviously the superhero's villain. I want to show you guys something as well. If we go onto the championship and press submit search. Two from, I'm presuming what that, that's a Comoros flag, am I correct? They're both called Shaka Abdu. They're both playing for Hull City. How weird is that? We are done here. The shortlist is complete. The game has not broken just yet. I haven't pressed the transfer hub. So this is it, is the game going to crash? We're gonna press the transfer hub and we're gonna talk through all of these people that I've just put on the shortlist. This is basically the best of the rest episode. And then we'll decide who we should really think about, consider signing from this shortlist. And I say shortlist, it's long. I really did think it crashed, but it has finally loaded the thing up. My goodness, I thought that was it. I think everybody is in here. It took a hell of a long time to load up that list. You can't scout them from your shortlist. You have to go and search them again. What is this game? David Sanjuro, mate, it's actually a really decent player. This guy's got one trait. We don't know what that trait is. Uh, skill dribbling, apparently. I totally understood that that blank hexagon was skilled dribbling. One club player. 
Thomas Apare. Some decent skill moves and weak foot. Hello. If he's got that fondness for Lincoln, he'll never want to move. We're not going to have a best of the rest episode. It's too difficult. It, it's not happening now. What we're going to do is remove the players that we are never going to sign up for Lincoln City. So right at the top, we've got a five foot nine right back. Firstly, we don't play right backs. Secondly, right midfield kind of is Yukoike spot and you're never going to have it. If he's going into centre back, he needs to be more than five foot nine. Two star, two star Gaston Marquez, get out. Oh my God, I was just about to get rid of him. Oh, what the flaming hell is that hairstyle that looks like he's got a mop and stuck it on his head. Ah! There's a guy from Chad that I put on this shortlist just because he's a guy from Chad. Oh yes, what's Lux? Lucas Lux, two star skill moves, two star weak foot. That's pretty disappointing. Three star, three star, he's 64 overall. How do we already know his overall? Oh yes, because he is the one that we scouted early. Well, 64 overall at 19 is definitely workable. Anyway, this is the lad, boys. Justin Duarte is a 76 overall playing for St. Etienne. Give me luxurious, sensational. I mean, his hair is not too bad. That is definitely some standout hair. There's so many solid wingers and we're left with Rui Goddamn for real. We must make sure the Lincoln City team still has that character about them. We don't want to alienate anybody that wasn't in the stream saying, oh look, we've just changed the side completely because that is not fair. I actually rated his performances in the first half of this season. He did okay, not like the old Burnson. So is that enough to warrant extending his contract for a little bit? I think so. Even if we're bringing in another goalkeeper, Burnson third choice doesn't bother me. Super Cooper's potential is less than 80. This one we seriously need to do. He's already 20 years old. He's a quality player. He's the best defender at the club. I don't care. Mayat's really, really solid. Harbe has his moments, but Super Cooper is on another level. Castaneda is the heartbeat of this team. Castaneda is everything. You look at Castaneda's nose and say to him, you don't deserve to be in this squad. Because he'll poke your eye out with it. Yuko EK, criminal. How is this guy only showing great potential? He has been sensational. What the hell are we going to do with Ed Kelly? The good news is that he's only 18 years old. The bad news is everything else. Blackburn Rovers against Lincoln City. It's League One action at Ewood Park. Of course, when I'm streaming, it would be the match where there's snow on the ground. That means that the stream is going to be all over the place. Go on, Mama Weapon. Just loves that passing. He's been watching videotapes of Malachias Jr. Come on, Phillips, this is all yours. Oh, great little block there by Jamie Phillips. It'll be a Blackburn corner. Go on, running. This will be a one on one chance. He's hit the post. Puts it in. Second time around. Just dropped perfectly for him, even with the pressure of running. We're missing. The expertise of Yuko Ike. Let's go, boys. Yes! Harvey Hall hits the post. Defensive work, Yuko Ike. We love you so much. Let's go, mate. Let's go! Yuko Ike! Harvey Hall, nice step over. Get the ball through! Oh, and Castaneda's has missed it. How have we not scored? Marked up well, Yuko Ike. Harvey Hall, good step overs. This time, yes! Yes, finally! Why have I got my sunglasses on? You can't see me. When is the league in me? Look at that. It's so obvious that that was the ball. How are they 2 1 up? How are they 2 1 up? Good header, Super Cooper. Let's go again. Mama Weppa. This time, Petrus Bone skips past the tackle. Yes! It's a wicked. Oh, give it up. Morton's got all the time in the world to run this clock down. And somehow, Blackburn have won that game. Next up, Lincoln City, Scunthorpe United. Go, Rui. Do you have any understanding of the overlap? It's Rui Faria. And still Rui Faria. Yes. Help me out then, Rui. I swear Rui Faria is quicker than that. 
Ferreira. Rui Ferreira has just let that goal in. Look at this. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's not helping out the defence whatsoever. Well done. Joel Tawomi's doing jobs defensively. Yes. This is it, surely. Oh, what on earth is that? I was aiming from post. Rui Ferreira goes in. It's to four. Mm. Yeah, big man. To four scores his first ever goal for Lincoln City. That's a looper. Let's go. Let's go. Abraham to four. Banging that. Oh, it's straight to me. It's a great header by Roberts. Ed Lee! Oh my goodness, Ed Lee! That is how you break the deadlock. Ed Lee has absolutely caned that in. First goal in League One. What a goal, son. What a time to get it. Assist leader Castaneda, targeted by DC United. Oh. We got a loan offering for someone that I've not put out listed alone. Rui Faria the type of guy to wear clothes in the showers so he can wash himself and his clothes. Yep, only four days in two and a half hours. Why is that? Well, I've been looking around the place, got my short list all set up, and now we're just waiting for someone to take one of our players on loan to help us out, but it's not happening. Unbelievable. What's the best way of loaning out players in this game. Look at Castaneda's nose. Well, the whole idea of this stream was to try and boost up some of the potentials of the players. There is a message. It's another loan offer for Peter Roberts, who is not listed for loan. <sighs> transfer offers do need to occur way more often. The fact that we can't get one single transfer offer in. There's people listed out for transfer, listed out for loan, and the only loan offer that we've got is for someone that hasn't been listed for either. This is the reason why I started live streaming in the first place, and now uh, I've realised that I can't do it because the game just doesn't want me to loan out any players. This is Super Cooper. This is a great, great acquisition for anybody. We've got a message coming up. Not press conference. Not an offer for Super Cooper. We need a proper in-game editor that allows you to change the potential of the players, change appearances, change everything about your players because after all it is your save. We could do something like Dare to Dream with Djibouti on a FIFA game if that was the case. It would be perfect. We're not going to get a deal in for Super Cooper. So let's just go straight into the transfer hub and try and sign a couple of players. I'm looking at forwards. I don't think Joel Tawomi is strong enough as a striker. I think Yuko Ike is better wide. So is Oli Mason. A couple of them wingers that I've tried to put up front are just better in wide positions. I'm hoping we can go for Thomas Apare and also Nicholas Bursting. His valuation is 2.95 to 3.8 so that's that's a big player 70 overall at 20 years old EA need to remember that they are a games company and not a gambling firm that is unbelievably accurate they want a right back okay that plays into our hands because now we can offer this De Silva kid that we don't want but we have literally no wages to work with where's that CDM with the amazing hair Paidao Esso for Unzeza it's a CDM for a CDM it's just a straight swap we'll try and not laugh at the hair oh it, i've gone i've gone already nah your hair is ridiculous look at that what? man that's a lot of wage i can't really do much because the agents just do not budge we're all eager to see him join and just like that we've got rid of a player we brought one in and zeza is 68 overall at five for eight cdm from france adekunde is very unhappy at being transfer listed sorry you know what the most amazing thing is when you get out of a transfer window all of a sudden everybody wants your players do we really need rocky shoofs though it could be a way to get rid of rosanan tell me in the chat right now is it transfer takeover time or is it not? The squad ain't gonna change that much. We've already said this, we want that core squad to remain the same, but we do have Deadwood in the team. We found some interesting players that everybody wants to see in the squad. And we all agree that this is the right thing to do. I don't wanna be doing it if people are like, oh, the series is ruined now. 
Because the series ain't going to be ruined. I'm not going to be spending all this money. We've got an 84 overall goalkeeper in this uh, shortlist. I'm not going to be spending it on that 84 overall goalkeeper. I'm going to be spending it on players that are going to grow with us. That's it. Item redeemed. No going back now. Yes, we are going to sign up Rocky Shoofs. Right, this kid wants to be an important player in the squad. Interesting. Really is more going to be a rotation player, but we'll accept. If he's unhappy at the club, then I don't care. Straight in with a five-year deal, and now it's me to sort out the wages. This is scary. Wages are about 10,000. Does that sound about right? They're insulting. So the first time we're actually making some progress transfer-wise, we've got Thomas Apare's signature on a piece of paper. The sad thing is we've had to simulate past the Aston Villa FA Cup game, and for the first time, we lost the match. All them other times we simulated, beat Aston Villa no problem, but we are now out of the FA Cup. However, it's all for a good cause because Thomas Apare is a Lincoln City player now, with the silver going the other way. It should not take this long and this much trying to just get things right. We've not looked at the free agents. Our Prince Samba, of course. He should be one that we sign, no matter what kind of overall. I'm not too sure how these guys are gonna get to 80 overall, really. I'd love them to. I'd love them to be part of the team, part of the whole idea that we've got here at Lincoln City, but quite honestly, they're just here for a good laugh. 1,100 with a signing bonus of 14,000 pounds. It's Prince Samba in Lincoln City. They've got video on a pare signing, but Prince Samba has gone under the radar. That means Prince Samba is only like 56 overall. My 60 is not that bad, come on. Give them Eric Adekunde, which would be an amazing swap, let's be honest, because Eric Adekunde is an exciting prospect player. He's just fallen out of favour. They want a right back. Are you daft? You could just stick Eric Adekunde at right back and he'd do a good job for you. It took a while, hasn't it, lads? Previous one for the future on the breaking news section. Totally looked past by me, but you guys found his name hilarious. He wants £1,400 in wage. Rocky Shoofs is a Lincoln City player. And doesn't he look happy about it? Can we get a little video on Rocky Shoofs signing? Yes, we can. FC Dallas accept £400,000 for Rocky Shoofs. The Chad lad is the next one up. I don't have a clue how much money they'll want for him. He's a 64 overall, I think he's 64. He's around that ballpark, 19 year old from Chad. Or Romania, they've got the same flag. I'm just gonna guess, with that name, he's from Chad. Fair offer for Altama, 800,000. I'm okay with that. Sana Altama, his wage was 5,400 pounds, which is Kind of extortionate for someone of low overall, but I expect him to be banging in some goals for me. Apare is solid. 70 overall. He's really quick. He's a one-club player. He's weak for his four stars. His skill moves is three. This could be a Ghanaian Adam Pond that we've just brought in. Altama is from Chad. You can have Justice Rosanen. We'll take the really bad goalkeeper off you. The only left winger that I've got at the club is Rocky Shoofs. No. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Justice. Bye-bye. We'll forever miss you. Not really. Bye-bye, Azakiwe. Much love. Bye. Yachenko has recently joined this club, so he's not moving. It's great news for Charlie Green, isn't it? There's Fabio Keller. Potentially 75 overall. That's a very high rating. I'm not getting the best goalkeeper available because this guy is always going to be behind Kude anyway. Before we sign him up, we need to give him a shorter name than that. And I think we should just go for Nuno. All of a sudden, we got strikers in. 2.2 with a sell-on clause of 13%. Remove sell-on clause, submit offer. 2.35 million. And Weki is now the owner of the football club. And because he has a kingdom, he can just plow his money into this football club. 12.5 thousand on Burstings wages. Not gonna mess about with it. <laughs> We've been streaming for such a long time. Would you like Eric Adekunde? <laughs> No one wants Eric Adekunde, and he seriously, seriously needs a club. 
Oh. 10.8 is not a lot for the goalkeeper that we're just about to sign. 13.5. That's fine, I'll take that. This is a massive signing. We've signed a top player, apparently, even though he's definitely not as good as Kude. He's 76, which is surprising, but still not as good as Kude at 77. So the last thing that you wanted me to do was get a center back. Now, immediately I go straight to Dominic Ninkovic. 2.65 and then a 15% sell-on clause that I'm gonna count out, remove, submit. This transfer sum is gonna go even higher at 2.85 for a 19 year old centre back. Let's accept. That's the deal done. Now we've got to get the contract sorted. That's the same face as Perry NG. Not the manager Perry NG, but the player Perry NG. If he's around 70 overall, £7,000. Absolutely bang on the money, £7,000. Our highest rated defender is 68. That I, mm, technically, no, it's Harvey Hall at 77, but our proper defenders, it's 68 Jamie Phillips. So anything near 68 is a good signing. I'm just trying to defend myself if this is under 70. A 71? Oh my! I'm gonna have a look one more time at this transfer hub, but I think we are done. I don't really wanna release Adekunde. He's too good to release. He just wants another club. He's well worth a different club. I'm sticking true to my words. Occasionally they'll get a game, but I'm not starting them all at the same time. This is the old boys team, not these new guys that we've just brought in because of the transfer takeover. We'll play a couple, we'll enjoy their company, but it's not their team. Castaneda with the chest control. Oh, that is an effort. Slow down in the rain. Nuno keeps hold of it. This is a delightful cross. Oh, it's Prince Sambo! Oh my, it's Prince Sambo! How can... As if Prince Samba scored the first goal out of all them people. Watch him down the line, Jamie Phillips. Yuko Ike with them step overs. Foot roll inside. Yuko Ike. Oh, nice feet before the shot. Track him, track him. Oh, Jamie Phillips has lost his man. Ah, all the concentration was on the left hand side of my defence and the ball was played on the right, Jamie Phillips, flat footed, 1-1. One, one. Oh, well done, Super Cooper's first action is to lift it over his own crossbar. That is iconic. They've all been really close games. I mean, fair play to Peter, bro. They have done their business all over my face. If none of the signings can do anything now, then we're in trouble because most of them are on the field, if not all. Lincoln City against Mansfield in the league. Then we've got a checker trade trophy match coming up. Really important, won my first team for that. Nuno's on his way out wide, but can anyone help him? Does he need help? Nuno has blasted it opposite corner. Woo! And there is your introduction. I think that was Prince Samba. Expected from the 60 of... Oh, Kello. I didn't ask him to come out there. Oh, ball. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What? I mean, this is the second time in the stream that a shot's gone straight back to the guy after hitting the post. Apare. Okay. Chance, maybe. Lincoln City. It'll be Sandoval. Luis Sandoval. Another deflection. It's taken a nick off Burstyn and we're back in it. We've had a horrible run of luck. Can't really point it on certain bad performances. It's a 3-2 loss against Mansfield. This should have been an easy win. Might not sound massive, but this is bigger than the Premier League, the Champions League, because it's the area final of the Checker Trade Trophy. Good shrug. Castaneda, cross it in. Oh, let's have that. A targeted man. He's no more. Harvey Hall, after two, he's disappeared. That's how magic he is. Oh, lovely. Go on then. Bong on the... Oh, bong! He's not going to strike any better than that. That was an absolute rocket. And it makes Ed Lee's look a bit amateur. Didn't really commentate this because it happened so quick. But watch this. Watch what running does. This is what he brings to the team at centre-back, yeah? If I just slow this down, this ball is going to come in some speed. 
hit the crossbar mm, stanchion and he just takes a little touch there and takes it away from number, number 11. Great defending. Mark him up in the middle. Jesus. I mean, that was bound to happen, wasn't it? It's 2-1 now. And it doesn't look as dominating as what it should, really. That's good enough. But there's a hole in our defence now. Run in, please. Please. Oh, it's gone straight to him again. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure the Checker Trade trophy goes into penalty straight away. I do not want that. No. Not the Checker Trade trophy. That's it, isn't it? We're out of the Checker Trade trophy. Idris Kanu, two shots, two goals. That is a joke. We played so well for like 70 minutes. Lost it completely. Look at that. How much more dominance do you want? They had four shots on target all game. Oh, it is two legs. Fruity, it's two legs. Fruity, I could kiss you. Since it's only Barnet between us and that second leg, we'll go up to the ninth. But we're not going any further. Lincoln City against Peterborough for a chance to play at Wembley, I'm guessing. Oh, it's, it's a goal. It's a goal. Great. Excellent stuff. Well done, boys. Be Charlie Green. Oh! And of course, when we hit the post, it doesn't fall to one of our guys. Charlie Green threw ball there to Kasten Yeda. It's a bad one. It really is terrible. Harvey Hall. Oh, come on now. You had enough space there to line yourself up. Not get it caught underneath your feet. You know where this is leading. This is not mine to win. Well done, Kasten Yeda. This is it. This is the chance. Yuko Ike. Yes, that's it. That is what we need from Yuko Ike. Finally, he burst alive. And that gives us a massive chance. Go. Yes. One, two. Yuko Ike and Harvey Hall. Mmm, that's much more like it. Apparently there's away goals in this as well, so we are now in the lead. Breakaway. That's a good chip. That's going to be Harvey Hall's all day. Oh! Another injury. Falling like flies. Mama Wepper's won the ball. This is huge. Well done, Mama Wepper. Castaneda will hold it. Oh, Harvey Hall's missed. This time, Mamo. Yes. Ollie Mason, okay, back to Mama Wepper. Yeah, get it back to Mama Wepper. Everything through Mama Wepper. Everything through. Oh! How on earth did that not result in a goal? Just smash this. Latov has your aerial ability, Castaneda. It's good enough. Harvey Hall press. And that will be the end of that. And from what I believe, we've just gone through on away goals. Check a trade trophy final against Luton Town at Wembley. Bond's going to be out for about three weeks with that sprained ankle. Table's looking like this at the moment. We've dropped off top spot. Sheffield United are up there now. Two points clear. Thank you ever so much for everybody who's been watching me over the last six hours. This has been six hours of recording. I am drenched in sweat. I hope you guys are as well, especially with that last game. That last game was too tense. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please give the video a like. If you're new around here, then subscribe, press the red box, press the bell icon for mobile notifications, and I will see you next time.